the, the role of the chemical engineer in general in, in industry? What, what does a chemical engineer do and what is the link between you guys and the process engineers or the chemical engineers? And you will also hear that I refer a lot to process engineer, but uh, chemical engineer, most of the chemical engineers in industry is actually working as process engineers. It's, it's all about the, the bigger process. Um, and the understanding of the bigger process and then the role of the process engineer or the chemical engineer in this process. If we just start with a, with this drawing and hopefully you can all also um, follow the, the whiteboard. Um, but let's just look at a typical production facility and this can now be any facility. It can be a refinery, it can be a beer brewery, it can be uh, uh, somewhere in the food industry, um, etc. But the aim typically is to have a feed that you that is um, at low cost. You want to put it to your production facility to produce products that you can sell at a increased cost, at a high cost, and then make uh, a good profit on the facility to enable you to to run the system. Now, let's have a look at the different inputs in this process um, and what is typically the input of a process or chemical engineer in a facility like this. Now, of course, if you've got feed that you're converting to products, you would like to do that as efficient as possible. I would like to spend as little as possible energy and have very good conversions, etc., to get my feed to the products. And part of the role of the process engineer or chemical engineer is to understand, measure the efficiency, look at what can I do to improve efficiency, etc. So he will look at the efficiency of the total process. Uh, you need to understand conversions. If my conversion is bad, it just means that there's still a lot of the feed material also ending up on the product side and I need to separate and recycle it. So that is also going to have a negative effect on my efficiency. Uh, I also want a good yield and you will also see later when we talk a little bit about chemistry, when we talk about conversions and yield, but the yield tells me how much of this feed actually end up as products. If my yield is very good, I will have a good yield from feed to products and I will not make too many other byproducts. If my yield is bad, I will also make a lot of other stuff that is maybe some nasty um, byproducts that I need to spend money to, to handle. And then, of course, the energy input to the system and um, tomorrow when we're going to talk about equipment, you use heat exchangers if you need to heat up streams, uh, fired heaters, etc. So, uh, and typically your energy comes in in terms of electricity, steam uh, into the system. And again, the process engineer needs to understand the total energy balance on the process. Um, you also need to understand the, the utilities that is used, cooling water, steam, nitrogen, etc., uh, electricity. Uh, maintenance is another important part of this whole facility. And there's also a link between the, the process engineers and the maintenance guys, because the process engineer will typically be the person that monitors and keep track of the health of the equipment. If there's a heat exchanger that gets dirty over time, the process or chemical engineer will monitor that heat exchanger, will take certain measurements and he can tell maintenance that within the next two months we, we will have to clean this heat exchanger so then he can help with the planning on the maintenance side, etc. Um, on the labor side also, um, process engineers need to make sure that the people operating the process plant understand what they're operating, they need to be trained and the process engineer also play an important role in this training and the running of the facility. A lot of times you will find that the, the guy that is, let's say, the production manager of a, on a refinery plant, etc., will have a chemical or process engineering background. Right, and then, of course, the energy losses, we need to, to keep track of that. That is part of the whole energy balance. That is part of the job of this process engineer, uh, minimizing of waste streams. And then also continuously looking at, isn't there a way that I can convert some of my waste streams to a higher value streams? So looking at new opportunities, etc., and add more revenue to the business. 
So on, on this picture, basically on all, all the streams that we see here, you will have influence from the process of chemical engineers and then of course also from in controlling the efficiency, controlling the convergence, the yields, etc. You need control systems. And that is where the control instrument engineers also comes into play and where we need to have a good uh, understanding between the process side and the control side. And that is what we're going to try and see the links then in these sessions.